plans for Tulsa Public Schools' Indian Education Program are on hold. The district tells us that they're shelving proposed changes to focus on the coronavirus response. Tribes are still making their voices heard. And tonight, Two Works for you, Sierra Pizarro joined the chiefs as they heard concerns from Native American students and advisors. Sierra. Karen, they've been worried about TPS's Indian education program for months now. Since the district announced cuts would be made, eliminating seven positions, which include student advisors. One of them spoke with me tonight. You know, there's room for change always in any program, and uh, we're, you know, we're open to that, and uh, we do want the best, and we want to work with TPS to provide the best for our students. Sherry Williams is one of seven TPS Indian Education Advisors. They serve 3,000 students spread throughout 76 schools. They're like family to us. They treat us like we're their own, so Indian Ed is needed in all the resources resource advisors are needed. Tulsa Public Schools officials say federal funding for the Indian Ed program is decreasing. Cherokee Nation's principal chief hopes they're stretching the dollars they do get, especially after the nation's $1.3 million donation to Tulsa County School Districts. We want to make sure we maximize the federal dollars that go into Indian education and also the dollars from Cherokee Nation and other sources. And so at the end of the day, the plan needs to be one that maximizes resources to kids. The Osage Nation principal chief said Wednesday night he's meeting with TPS superintendent Dr. Deborah Giss this Friday on what's next for the Indian Ed program. I'm told TPS won't release anything new on their Indian education plans until after spring break and that they go before the Board of Education later this month. We'll keep you posted.